Hey guys! Today we're making this miniature waffle iron and some quick waffles to go with it. Hope you'll enjoy! I started out with a thin sheet of black clay and cut out some circles. You will need one for the top of the waffle iron, one for the bottom and then some to make the waffle pattern by placing little squares of clay on top. I then pre-baked those and place them on the two main circles using liquid clay. You also want to place some strips of clay in between to form the cross where the waffles are divided. Then pre-bake. To make a hinge so the waffle iron can actually open and close, I took a piece of the reshapable cake pan I've been using in some of my videos. Mark off the basic shape for the hinge and cut that out, then use some round nose pliers to fold in the tabs, making sure that you can fit a piece of wire through it. Once you add the wire, you will have a working hinge, but you don't want to add any wire to it yet. I then took the two halves and added a strip of black clay around the edge, followed by a strip of red clay. You can then push one part of the hinge into the edge of the bottom and one into the top. And make sure that the pattern on the inside lines up. After pre-baking that, I removed the hinge and added a thin layer of red clay to the back, which is going to be the outside of the waffle iron. I then pre-baked again, but you don't have to. Take the half that you want to be the top and create a tab or handle type thing as well as a decorative piece. You can just glaze it when you're done, but I used the f color enamel powder the same way as in a couple of my videos, by dipping the clay into the powder, baking it for a couple of minutes and repeating that until I had the coating and look I want. Now glue the two parts of the hinge in place, stack the two halves of the waffle iron and cut a piece of wire that fits. Put that through and seal the two ends with glue. I also made a simple bottom from black clay, baked that and glued it in place. Lastly, I cut a couple of decorative pieces of the metal using my pliers to shape it. To make some simple waffles, I made a mold or texture piece from scrap clay, pretty much the same way as I made the waffle iron. After baking, I rolled out a sheet of a light dough color, brushed on some cornstarch and used the mold to make the waffle texture. Cut those out and add some additional texture using dotting tools, needle tools and a toothbrush.
and after baking I just added some shading with pastel mixed with water. Seal with glaze and you're done.